scared the science out of me. <laughs> <laughs> she put a little bell on you. Or, or maybe some shoes that would talk. Or, or maybe a laser that's motion activated. Dr. Professor. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, today, we're, kids, we're going to be working on a la uh, viewer that allows us to see into space. Great! Specifically black holes and what goes on inside of them. Now, those at home, I'll need you to get your hands on about 30 or so infrared telescopes and a bunch of duct tape. Um, <laughs> DP? What if we focus on something a little easier? Like, say, a potato clock? What? <laughs> you know, a clock that runs on the power of a potato. <laughs> but I don't want to make a potato clock. But what could be more fun than a vegetable that helps you tell time? <laughs> Fine. I'll go get a stupid clock. <laughs> Why do we have so many potatoes in here? <laughs> we'll be right back, kids. But in the meantime, put on your DP PhD goggles, because it's time for... Nobody's cramming anything. Not science and not it. The censors say you could use the term forcibly insert. No one's going to be sitting on it, and if you are going to sit on it, you most certainly cannot spin. Kids, you're ahead of our network, Brenda Nielsen. <laughs> Canceling our show. Science doesn't bring in money. Money brings in money. Now try not to get that studio too scienced up. The team that's taking over is very exciting to get in there. No, no, listen to us. We I'm want to keep our show, Wait. so you better yeah. let us keep yeah, it. No. Because otherwise Shut up. I'll go. The team that's taking over your slot is real anxious to get in there. The censors say I can't say that. Oh, you mean those illnesses? Technical term, we can't get in trouble. From your new finance show? Don't say it with such disgust. It's a real classy family show. Balls to the Wall Street is going to be the most exciting thing in children's programming since Mr. Moneypenny's Cash Circus with a tough 80s slant. Brad Fundington, go. Chad, invest a lot. Time is money. Money is power. Go. Tune in next week and we'll show you how to get money away from Big Piggy. I'm on my way, I'm making and invest that sweet allowance so you could practically own second grade. No, Mrs. Gunderson, you do your homework. Tune in next week to Falls to the Wall Street. It'll be a real slam run. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Brenda, I think we're using the signal. We're going to do some last minute experimenting with our slot while we still can. Uh, no, you can't say that. Science! <laughs> yeah, we're going to teach kids how to do a lot of more science when they can... Build an automaton from home! Great! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, look, Carol, if you'll be so kind as to get experiment 32A that we started last week. You got it. Or should I say, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> While science girl Carol goes and retreat. Oh, science person Carol, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the 80s. While she goes and retrieves that, let's recap what we did last week. We built a durable metal frame to use as the body, added grabber claws for arms, 
and uh, some googly eyes for some fun, because nothing says fun like an ocular disorder. <laughs> <laughs> now I asked you at home to bother your parents about getting a radioactive positronoscope. I built ours, but I have to assume they're available at your local plutonarium or whatever. This is pretty heavy. <laughs> I can imagine seeing as how it's made of metal. Now as a reminder, it does have wheels which you should definitely not use until the robot is activated due to a fire friction issue. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, now, grab the proper safety gear, grab the radioactive positronoscope, and oh my god, what are you doing? No, 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 you, you should be wearing gloves. I mean, really, we should all be behind a, a lead wall when you take, and the children, three, two. Yeah, I guess the damage is already done, right? What? <laughs> so, plug in the radioactive positronoscope, Okay, start, I'll start typing in the startup code. So, Dr. Professor, mm -hmm. do you think we could power <coughs> this automaton with, say, a... Do you not say potato, Carol? Well, I say it when you can eat it! <laughs> Boy of mash fried, there's no wrong way to eat a nutritious potato. They're nature's battery. They'll keep you energized! Proud sponsor of Dr. Professor, PhD. Right. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> <laughs> you finish typing any startup codes, hit enter, and... Did it work? Is it alive? Are any of us truly alive until we hear Carol King's tapestry for the first time? <laughs> who, who am I? Who are you? <laughs> we made you! It worked! <laughs> We're like your parents, only we'll be there for you when you need us. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Professor, and this is science person Carol. Uh, we created you to show the kids at home what it's like to create something of their own. And, um, well, you're a robot. Response-oriented, battery-operated toy. What is my purpose? <laughs> my task? Oh, um... You don't have one, really. <laughs> well, wait, what well, then? What do I do? Whatever your dreams tell you to. Oh. But I don't have any. <laughs> and you simply named me Robot? That's like naming your daughter Human Woman. <laughs> or just calling yourself Dr. Perfect. Um, <laughs> when they with, with robot and then square body. Do you want me to take over this? Yes, one? please. Okay, do. cool. Uh, do you, now, the reason we built a robot with no intrinsic purpose was to see if they can develop interests and feelings of their own, to see if they had some version of a soul. That's pretty gloomy. Isn't that a little dark, Dr. Professor? Science is dark, Carol. <laughs> but we'll see what happens to that experiment and many more when, when we, we return. return. Dr. Professor PhD will return after these messages. Switch on Charger Tron, robots like you've never seen. Switch on Charger Tron, supersonic machines. Rev the meter till it's red. Launch out the tracker. Switch on Charger Tron, now it's an attacker. Switch on Charger Tron, always changing, rearranging. He's surprising. He's disguising. Charger Tron. Charger Tron. There's Protagatron and Antagatron, each sold separately. If you like animals, you'll love Animal World at Lake of the Ozarks. See hundreds of exotic species from six continents. Llamas, zebras, camels, yaks, and even ostriches. Admission price includes feed, and you can pet most of the animals too. See bears, lions, elk, buffalo, deer, monkeys, plus a five-legged cow. The free show at our Parrot Palace Theater features colorful performing macaws. There's nothing like it in the lake area, so you'll want to stay as long as you can. Animal World, Highway 54, near the Eldon exit. And now, back to Dr. Professor Ph.D. I don't know what happens so fast every time. <laughs> yeah, this is the third time. No, Carol, don't put your hands in it. Carol, it's Carol. Stop, okay. Hey, so what are we doing in this uh, next segment? 
Hey, Artie. Hey, Artie. We're actually going to be talking about oil. You know, never mind. Uh, it's probably better for my character if I don't know what's happening. I can uh, react more natural in the moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go prepare. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, we're back. That's right, back with your favorite segment, Artie the Smarty. Artie some basic science facts, so maybe you'll learn a little something too. Wow, is out! Hi, science person, Carol! Dr. Professor! <laughs> Artie's been on TV for a long time now, going all the way back to the late 1950s with the Clorox All Whites on Parade, which was canceled for obvious reasons. <laughs> I thought it was fun! Hey, Artie, are you gonna be sad next week when you're not on a show anymore? I'm not about to lose that position just because a couple of schnooks can't keep their show on. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about oil, right, Carol? Yeah, oil. <laughs> hey, kids, remember a few years ago when your parents had to wait on those long gas lines <laughs> thanks to old Jimmy Malay's Carter? I sure do. The gas station attendants would give me a wowie bop. <laughs> wowie bop. Right. So, uh, <laughs> do you ever wonder where all that gasoline comes from? The ground! Oh, oh, oh. Is that like when I do something naughty and I get grounded? No! It's like the ground! You see it? <laughs> crude, crude oil is actually... Crude oil. oil! Oh my god. Is that like when I say a word I shouldn't say that I learned from the magazines my daddy keeps in his workshop? <laughs> no. It's actually a form of uh, dead organic material that... Dead organic material? You mean... Dinosaurs? Yes! No, actually, that's common mistake. Wow! It's my not... car! My mommy's car is powered by dinosaurs! Awesome! All right, Marty. <laughs> All right, Marty! All right! All right. Okay, uh, no, 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 as I was saying, uh, it's actually a form of uh, more like dead bacteria than dead dinosaurs. My it's... favorite dinosaur is the T Rex! Marty, <laughs> cut it out! Do not ruin our last show! <laughs> You ruined your own science, excuse me? Oh, you wouldn't want to hurt me! I'm just a little boy! <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, 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 we, we weren't going to hurt you, Artie. We were just going to, uh... Put you down for your nap. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. Oh, well, if I'm going to get off of your soundstage and take a nap, I'm going to need my special single malt napkin juice. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy unemployment. Five years till it's <laughs> Speaking of dead organic material, hey, what are dinosaur fossils made of? Dinosaurs! <laughs> yes, that is technically accurate, but more specifically, bones. But what are bones and what do they do? No one really knows! <laughs> we, we knew Carol. <laughs> Remember uh, musical assistants Joey and Joey made a little video for us? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I just. I just. I hate Artie. So much. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> Roll the clip. Don't make up your skeleton. You see sun when you grin. They help you climb the trees. They bless you when you sneeze. They listen to everything. Even when you sing and sing. They watch you when you sleep. They don't make a peep. They work for the CIA. They help you play all day. They help shoot Kennedy. They live inside you and me. They said we reveal too much. 
talking about all these state secrets and such. Let's go back to the science facts. They're made of collagen and not wax. Bones. insert god this show is such a headache you have one more segment to film and i can't wait to get you off the air and i'll make sure you never work in children's television again i guess this is really the end okay kids we'll we'll be back in a little bit back for our last <laughs> don't don't despair, kids, because science is, um, science would, I don't know anymore. Dr. Professor PhD will return after these messages. Don't give me that so, so, soda, the same old cola. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna buy, I wanna, Shasta, Shasta, I wanna taste possess, all the great taste, Shasta, hey. I wanna pop, pop, pop. I wanna shatter, shatter. I wanna thrill, I wanna wild taste it all I want it out. I wanna pop, pop, pop. I wanna shatter. It's Kenner's Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven. Preheat 15 minutes, light bulb not included. You can mix up a yellow and a chocolate cake. You can have lots of fun with an easy bake in just 10 minutes. Done just right to frost. Share, taste, bite. The Betty Crocker Easy Bake Mini Wave Oven with Betty Crocker Mixes from Kenner. And now back to Dr. Professor PhD. Hey kids, uh, we're back for our, la for our last segment. Many of you write in to uh, ask questions about science that we might not have covered on the show. That's right, those letters really piled up, so we threw them out. But unfortunately, <laughs> more letters kept coming in, so we've decided to answer them in a segment we call We, we Didn't, didn't know, know Out Your Mail! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's our first question from an enterprising young scientist, Carol? Sure. Uh, little Timmy L. from Springfield, Massachusetts said, I heard that gravity is caused by the Earth spinning. What stops us from flying right off the Earth? Well, actually, uh, there, there are two main theories on gravity, one Newtonian and one Einsteinian. Now, <coughs> the theory, oh, uh, uh, short answer is just gravity. Gravity stops from flying off. Next question. Uh, Bobby Z from Santa Barbara, California asks, why did Grandma have to die? She, oh, oh, oh no. Bobby, I'm sorry. What did she die of? Uh, what? I didn't say what she died of. It looks like a heart attack. I'm really sorry. Now you see, Bobby, uh, when the heart is deprived of enough oxygen-rich blood, it suffers from a kind of seizure or cramp that forces it to stop working. And since it delivers blood to the rest of the body, it's quite essential that it works. Since it stopped working, she died. <laughs> great. 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 Uh, Ashley 
W from Stone Mountain, Georgia says, what happened to those giant ants you mutated last season? Those were cool. <laughs> I'll field this one. Our legal team has advised us that it's best not to talk about those creatures who may or may not have escaped, no matter how big, gigantic, or awesome they were. So if you think you've seen one, you haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Charlie R. from Henderson, North Carolina says, my mom says if I wear boots in the house, I'll go blind. I'm pretty sure she's just saying that so she doesn't have to clean up after me. But how can I use science to convince her I won't go blind? Well, while it's unlikely that you'll go blind, Charlie, it's not impossible. Uh, imagine that you are running around the house and you're unable to get proper traction because your shoes are wet. Uh, suddenly you go flying and eye first into, I don't know, a newel post or uh, maybe a little board game with a piece of been left out, who knows. So they go into one or both of your eyes and then suddenly you're, boom, blind. In science, you have to consider every possible angle, Charlie. Great. Great. Our last, our last question comes from Pammy S. of Bangor, Maine, who simply asks, where do babies come from? Well, I can tell you where they don't come from. They don't come from spending the night in a bar with your coworker when you think it's the last week of your show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you see the light reflecting off your coworker in a way that you've never seen light do before. So you get closer. And then, uh, you remember that you have a wife at home, a wife called Science. <laughs> and that bitch is on to you, Carol. She knows your every move. She'll know immediately. So you turn away, never to reveal your true feelings. <laughs> this has been... We, we didn't, didn't throw out your mail! Science has been around for thousands of years. I mean, we have so many people to thank for all their work in the show. You know, uh, Isaac Newton uh, has put a lot of work in this show. Uh, Galileo Galilei has put a lot of work, you know? I mean, uh, Carol's been here for a while. You know, everyone's done stuff. But science is, is boring. boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah, us. Now, if uh, you could clear out all your dorky science crap, we have to get ready for our show. But uh, keep, keep all the mirrors. Next will nothing. Do what was that? Was it a ghost? What? No, Chad. Was that a ghost? Chad, 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 you're freaking out. Chad, you're freaking out. Chad, you're freaking out again. All right. That's right, boys. It's me, Brenda Nielsen, head of the network, or should I say, former head of the network. What? That's right, boys. Somebody bought up enough shares to take control of the board of directors and they ousted me. So I'm cramming all that I can from my office into my box. You know what? I don't care about the censors anymore. Box, 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 box. Science. But, but what person could have... Not person. That's right, robot here to save the day. You see, at first, I was mad because I wasn't given a purpose, but then I realized it was a freedom I was given. That's right, the freedom to choose science and knowledge and... No, shut up. <laughs> the freedom to do what I want, and what I want to do is help. Since we last talked, I spent up most of my memory banks learning how to play the stock market. And then, with my money, I bought up a majority of shares in the network. That's right. And unlike some jerkwads, I wanted to do good with my money and not just a lot of cocaine. <laughs> Though, some cocaine. Okay. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm saving your show. Yeah! <laughs> All I have to do is sign the final paperwork. 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 No, 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 no. He must have. Now he must have used up all of his, his power computing which stocks to buy! Well, what can we use to power him back on? <laughs>
I don't know. Papers signed.